Wrightsville kids, I'm Pastor Julia. Today, I'm wondering if you like to make things. Maybe you like to draw pictures with crayons, or paint with paints, or draw with sidewalk chalk, or maybe you like to play with something like Play-Doh that I have here. What is it that you most like to make? Have you ever gotten to use something like Play-Doh or clay, maybe an art class at school? I think it's really fun. Well, you know, the Bible says that when God started to create, and when God decided to make human beings, God took something like dust or clay from the earth and started shaping it and molding it, maybe like this, <laughs> until he made something that kind of looked like a person. And then when God had made this little person, he took it and he breathed breath into it. And it brought the human being to life. And it's not just the first people who God made. In fact, the Bible also says that God formed you, even you, together when you were just in your mama's tummy. And that's still how God creates. Why do you think that God wanted to make humans? I wonder if it's any reason like when we decide to make something. Well, I think the Bible tells us that God made us not because God was bored or lonely, but because God wanted to love us. God wanted to have a relationship with us. But I don't know about you, but sometimes if I make something with clay or I draw a picture, I don't really like how it turns out. And I get a little frustrated that it doesn't look how I want it to look. But that's not how it is when God creates. In the creation story, every time God makes something, he says, it is good. And that's what he says about humans, too. He makes us and he says, this is good. In fact, later on in the Bible, in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10, we hear that we are God's masterpieces. We're like God's favorite thing that he's ever made. So maybe today you can make something, if it's with clay or drawing a picture, however it is that you like to make things. And when you do that, I hope you remember that it's God who made you and that God loves you more than you can possibly imagine. Let's pray. God, thank you so much for making us. We thank you that you loved us so much that you wanted us to be in the world. We thank you that we are your masterpieces. We love you. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <laughs>